Okay, so here we go. I'm going to turn the metronome on. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, ways to practice this. Let's do uh, eighth notes. Okay, we're going to do eighth notes. I'm going to show you a little exercise. Um, again, I know we've done chromatic scales, and we've done a few exercises in the past. You, you'll be able to apply all of that to using your metronome. But for now, let's, let's learn a new exercise. Now, our first one we're going to do is going to be starting on the tenth fret of the second string. And all we're going to do is we're going to do eighth notes, but we're going to go ten to twelve with our third finger to 13, back to 12, okay, 10, 12, 13, 12. Now, the key is not to play this super fast and sloppy, the key is to play it exactly in time to the metronome. Uh, let's turn on metronome, let's see, let's set it to 80, okay, we'll do quarter notes first. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're alternate picking. And you'll know you're doing it really well if, if when, you hit the, when you hit the string, it feels like you're triggering the metronome. For example, when I hit that note, if it feels like that's causing the metronome to click, then you're right on time. You're doing a great job. All right, let's take that same exercise and let's do that with eighth notes. So now we're going to count one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Same lick with 16th notes would be. 1 e and a, 2 e and a, 3 e and a, 4 e and a. This is also a great way to build up your dexterity. So if you take some time and really work on this, you're going to find that as you build up your speed, you'll also be building up the dexterity, meaning how long you can actually stay at a faster speed. You're going to build up your muscles and you're going to get really accurate. Another good tip that uh, I caught from Paul Gilbert a few years back was when you practice to your metronome, try to hit the strings a little bit harder than you typically would. Okay, and by doing that, then when you do relax a little bit and you, and you lighten up a little bit, you're going to play even faster and more clean. So definitely something to work on. So that's our first exercise. Another exercise that I like to do is a little bit more advanced, but it's more of a string skipping exercise. And again, we're going to stay in the same pattern. Everything I'm giving you is out of that first pattern we did at the beginning of the show, the C major scale. What we're going to do here is we're going to start on the ninth fret of the fourth string. And we're going to go 9, 10, 12, down, up, down. And we're going to skip up to the second string, 10th fret, with our first finger, with an upstroke. Okay, and this is, again, this is going to be a quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note exercise. After we do this, we're going to do two triplet exercises as well. There will be more groups of three. These are all in groups of fours or eights, whatever. Okay, so we're going to go 9, 10, 12 on the fourth string, up to 10 on the second string. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go 13, 12, 10 on the second string to 12 with our fourth finger on the third string. So it sounds like this. One more time. Then we're going to do our first finger is going to go to 9 on the third string. And we're going to go 9, 10, 12 up to 10 on the first string. So again, we're skipping a string from the third string up to the first. And then we're going to do the, the same thing we just did before. We're going to go tw uh, 13, 12, 10 backwards on the first string, back to 12 on the uh, third string with our fourth finger. So it sounds like this. Then we're going to go 9, 10, 12 on the third string to 10 on the second string this time. No string skip. And then 13, 12, 10 on the second string to 12 on the fourth string, and that way we can start the whole exercise back over. Slowly, it sounds like this. And that's where we start back over. Now to the metronome, if we do quarter notes, one, two, three, four, Start back over. Eighth notes. One, er, one and two and three and four and.
and sixteenths, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. There you have that idea. Now, both those exercises are really good. One, we st the first exercise where we stayed on one string is going to be really helpful to build up your speed uh, on one string. And then this one's going to help you to really be able to move back and forth between the strings and get a better feel for uh, string skipping. So practice both of those. Work on them. Uh, if you're comfortable with quarters, do quarters, then eighths, and try to work your way up to sixteenth notes. Even if you do sixteenth notes at a slower speed, it's still better to try to get those subdivisions where you can hear them clearly and play them and uh, work on those. Uh, okay, triplets. Now we're going, do, we're going to do a couple of exercises with the uh, triplet feel or even sixth note feel. Uh, we'll do one string exercise again. And this is actually for pretty straight ahead. It's just a chromatic exercise, but we're going to just keep, continue to do it forward and clean. Again, clean is the, the key here. Let's start uh, doing 80. Let's go um, 10. Uh, I won't do chromatic. We'll do it. We'll stay in the scale like we talked about. 10, 12, 13 on the second string. But we're not going to go back to 12 this time. We're just going to do three in a row. 10, 12, 13. There's our quarters. Okay, now our triplets, though. Remember, we say the word triplet for each beat. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Let's try that. The next thing you want to do is go backwards with that same exercise, maybe 13, 12, 10, so you practice working your fingers backwards. And the other thing to do is alternate your finger, your second finger, instead of, uh, instead of your third finger on the 12th fret, we're gonna go out of key for a minute. Let's go with our second finger on the, the 11th fret so that we get that second finger to practice as well. And that sounds like this. Or we can even do it on the third string and stay in key. We could do 9, 10, 12 on the third string. Let's do that instead so that we stay in key. 9, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, triple it, triple it. And then backwards. Now you can do this for each one of the strings on the way up as well. We could do. And you can kind of play around with that. Now the other one, I think we've, uh, I don't know if we've done it before on this show. I've done it on maybe the Guitar Mania show or something, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, one I learned from uh, Paul Gilbert personally a lot of years ago at GIT. But uh, it's the one we start on the ninth fret of the uh, fourth string. We're going to play 9, 10, 12, down, up, down. And then we're going to go to the ninth fret third string with an up stroke. So it sounds like this. Triple it, triple it. Up to the ninth. And then we're going to come back down 12, 10. So what we get is a total of six notes. And the way I count this myself is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as opposed to triple the triplet. You can do either one. But I like to look at the one pattern as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Triple it, triple it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, again, if we want, we can move that, that same exercise up to the second string by the same pattern, but instead of using our second finger, now we're gonna use our third finger. That would sound like this. And it's all about clean and accuracy, you guys. So really, let's put a lot of time into this, see if you can really bump up your speed a little bit. And then again, as with all these exercises I give you every week, or these different uh, little riffs and ideas, experiment with them. Move them around the fingerboard. Try them on the wider frets. Try them on the bigger strings. Try them on the smaller frets, etc. Move it all over the place. All right. For, I might do something like that same exercise. Maybe move it down to the second fret, sixth string, and go two, three, five, to two on the fifth string and back. Something like this for the triplets. You want to play around with that, great way to practice getting faster. Again, you can also do, uh, last thing I'll tell you is your chromatic scales. We've done those on the show before. But to a metronome, one of the great ways to really get fast to maybe you know bump your metronome, speed up a little bit, work on your 16th notes, uh, doing your chromatic scales, being uh, two, three, four, five. Those are quarters, eighths, sixteenths. You can play around with that uh, with your metronome. Get a metronome, all right? Practice your metronome, and I'll see you back here in a couple weeks, and we'll uh, continue this journey on the Ultimate Guitar Show. Thank you.